the SNP's groundbreaking New Deal with the Scottish Greens has been ripped apart, with one activist warning the pact made with the help of First Minister Nicola Sturgeon will destroy credibility between voters and the environmentally conscious party. The groundbreaking cooperation agreement between the SNP and the Scottish Greens, announced by First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, secures a pro-Scottish independence majority in Holyrood of 71 to 57, six more than the 65 needed. The SNP had been locked in negotiations with the Scottish Green Party since the SNP fell short of an overall majority in Holyrood by only one seat in the election on May 6. The new agreement will see the SNP and the Scottish Greens, working together for a greener, fairer, independent Scotland. According to Ms Sturgeon, they have vowed to secure a referendum on Scottish independence after the Covid crisis to be held within the current parliamentary session on a specific date to be determined by the Scottish Parliament. But, a climate change activist has responded to the agreement claiming the Scottish Greens will destroy their credibility by teaming up with Ms Sturgeon's party, with the SNP Greens deal risking backlash. Organic Farmer and Extinction Rebellion co-founder Roger Hallam accused the Scottish Greens of selling out for a seat at the table. Mr Hallam said, there's still an ambiguity by the SNP of allowing the new oil fields to be opened up near Shetland. Now, that is an act of national suicide. In the policy program, the SNP and Greens admit they do not entirely agree on the oil and gas sector. On oil and gas extraction, there is a commitment to review policy and to transition away from fossil fuels, but the SNP appears wary about the pace of change in offending the business sector. Environmental groups have accused ministers of hypocrisy after it emerged the development of a vast new North Atlantic oil field at Cambo, west of Shetland, could still get the green light. Many of the other environmental pledges use non-binding terms such as working towards, and consultation, suggesting a lack of commitment to radical environmental reform. Queen Margrethe II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.